Okay, here we have a John Lewis dual draw, two draw dishwasher system. And when I mean two draw, I do mean literally, you can open up the top one and the bottom one independently, have them going together or on their own, different temperatures. So you can have an intensive wash down below and a light wash above, or just use one or both and give you great flexibility. Um, although it's branded John Lewis, here. It's actually a Fisher and Paykel manufactured uh, dishwasher. Uh, the model number is JLB IDWS1802 um, and as you can see it's about three-fifths of the height on the top upper drawer and two-fifths on the lower drawer. And what I'm going to do in this review is to show you the dishwasher in use, the noise levels which I think are really fantastic, it's quite quiet and um, general flexibility of loading and using the dishwasher. Okay, and here it is with the top drawer running. So that's in a normal uh, cycle mode. And the bottom drawer, as you can see, isn't on. I'm just gonna open it up whilst the top drawer's running. So you get a little beep beep, just to let you know the uh, unit's on and I'll show you with different uh, footage the uh, options you can see from the drawer but as you can see slightly louder when the units got the bottom drawer open but when it's closed and the top drawer is running it's very quiet it's rated just over 40 decibels and that is you know it's it's as, it's as quiet as uh, you i've ever heard a, a, a dishwasher it's not silent of course you can hear it but it's uh, it's really a very mild background noise, you can hear it washing and sprinkling the, uh, the dishes in there, it's quite well loaded. And uh, what I'll do also is I'll come back when it's on its drying mode, so you can hear the fan as it dries the, uh, the contents. And what I'll also do is I'll show you the noise and we'll come back with the camera in the same position when both drawers are in operation. So what I typically do is I'll load plates and cutlery and glasses and mugs in the top drawer, and the bottom drawer, um, larger saucepans, greasier items, etc. And I usually put that on a on an extra wash. So I'll do all that and come back. Okay, what I'm going to do is show you the versatility of the drawers. I'm opening the lower drawer. So the dishwasher is split um, roughly, roughly three fifths of the volume on the top shelf, two fifths of the volume on the lower shelf. So this is the lower, smaller shelf, but you get a very similar kind of layout in both. So let me just quickly talk through these strings through. You have flip up and height adjustable sides where you can put mugs and cups, etc. So what I mean by that is in this mode here, I can slide this down and bring it up, and then it tilts down at the angle you wish, and you can hold it at that angle. So I can put quite tall glasses in there or short mugs. Typically on the lower level, I leave it open as a cube so that I can get my pots and pans in, so I actually fold all the sides up. These plate racks are also, they also fold down. They fold down very neatly flat, if I get the right order. And you've literally got here now quite a, a cavernous space. You get two of the uh, cutlery trays, and so these are very, very good ones. But again, depending on the size of pots and pans, you may want to take this out or not. I can leave this in. I've got a few extra bits that I can leave to sit in there. It's a particularly good cutlery tray. Not only have you got a uh, good plastic, good volume for the main compartments, the knife, fork, spoon separator is also nicely hinged. So you've got versatility where you can have fewer larger items or keep the items spaced out. And it's, it's a good solid plastic. A lot of companies let themselves down with poor flimsy plastic uh, dishwasher trays. The, this is, uh, like I say, over a year old and uh, still going very, very strong. Okay, so I've got here a nice big space that I can load up with this morning's dirty dishes and frying pans. They are by no means clean and typically they'll get a rinse. There's plenty of baked beans on there before I load them up. And I've got myself two large frying pans in there and a good sized saucepan. Like I say, I don't need to take the cutlery tray out. So I'm going to leave that in. I've just rearranged it in there. Pop that back. And that's partly because, I'm going to show you the compartments now, uh, partly because the tablets I use, I usually just drop into the uh, dish 
the cutlery dish compartment tray or drop down the side because you can use these areas here so this is where your salt is this is where your rinse aid fluid goes um, and you can put tablets in here but uh, then the, the tablets I buy don't just happen to fit into the the drawer so it doesn't matter it's the, it's a, it's a personal choice I like to use the Ecover uh, tablets and I just drop them into the tray and that's absolutely fine so there we go we've loaded that and I literally just push it closed what I didn't show you I guess is so what you want to do is decide on the type of load so you have a rinse heavy normal fast delicate or they're out to rinse again there is an eco button which uh, really does mean it doesn't use particularly hot water which you only use on rinses these are pots and pans I'm gonna leave it on heavy dink 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 pop it in I put the tablet on and all I've got to do then is press that play button and um, away it goes okay the top one is now finished the bottom drawer is still doing its max cycle so it's just the one you can hear I'm now going to open the top drawer and as you can see the light is limited on the normal cycle which is what it's just run through and as you can see I've got various plates and cups and glasses and crockery and all kinds of various things in here so um, okay everything's really wonderfully dry so warm to touch this literally only uh, and it makes a little sound uh, finished uh, a few minutes ago and as you can see the way I have it laid out, I have on the right hand side of this upper drawer um, for the larger plates and bowls and saucers, etc., and dishes. And to that extent, I have the flexible side wall folded up. But equally well, you can rearrange a few things in here just to show you. Equally well, sometimes, depending on the height of things, I've got different height mugs and cups here. So what I can do is I can have the shorter mugs on the bottom with a shelf down and the taller mugs on the top. So um, as you can see there and there, short mug underneath, mug on top. So these flexible sides are very good, all depends on how tall a glass you've got in there, how tall and how clever you're going to be at packing your dishwasher. Certainly there's plenty of options and um, I was just ex thinking about explaining the, uh, the shelf flexible loading system, a little bit like the bottom drawer. The uh, picture from the uh, model catalogue is actually very clear so I'm going to bring that into shot. So this is actually a clever front view, as though the front drawer isn't there, so you're looking into the machine. So as I explained, you've got these various plate rack options that fold in, both sides do the same. You've got this height adjustable wall sides, these plastic fold down shelves, that again give you flexibility for, for quite tall mugs. You know, I've got quite tall mugs on the side, you can get quite um, tall stubby glasses on the left and right as well. So plenty of options. A again, another very good cutlery rack exactly the same as the one in the lower unit so you get two identical ones and um, some nice little features that, that do come in useful every now and then so just take this other glass out so we can fold the shelf down so I've got this at this height but these little notches are quite useful so you can get a combination of the odd plate in here as well as um, cups and dishes so if you have actually got lots and lots of side plates saucers and make large plates you could actually get a, a whole array of plates etc in here because you can use you can line things up and use this cut through um, on these sides as well and intermesh with uh, mugs etc so you get an extra few plates etc if you want to do really be clever and to fully load this uh, dishwasher um, now typically one of the main advantages of having a dual drawer system is that we actually get to use just half the dishwasher half the water um, at any one time so as a conventional dishwasher we'd end up running either feeling guilty every day or run it every other day and you'd have half your plates and cups and glasses uh, sitting in a dishwasher just drying basically and getting 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 manky so nothing that we particularly liked so uh, this dual drawer system works really well for us um, they've got loading instructions here you know, they've got like a what they call a typical breakfast load typical dinner party mode etc but we we do use this so the bottom uh, drawer we typically use the pots and pans and the real grotty stuff goes in the very bottom and we're using this uh, just for our uh, plates, cups and glasses etc. It works really well. One thing I will say, if I shut this drawer carefully, you can see the clearance now. You can see there's an inch or so above my finger. Um, but this is only, um, maybe I've got large hands so don't think this is a small plate, it's not. This is a, this is a standard size dinner plate. But if you've got uh, only probably another inch or so 
um, for a large enough plate, you can't base it over the very, very large platters so easily in here, okay? So you've got to be careful of the size of plate. Um, certainly we've got some very large uh, oval dishes that we use for presentation, uh, fruit, um, maybe the large uh, uh, turkey at Christmas, etc. that don't fit in here, except at a very acute angle, either laying this way or this way. So be a little bit careful about the size of plates, double check that, but the, the top three-fifths of the volume uh, does give you plenty of room, plenty of flexibility. You get a lot in very flexible walls, uh, all these things fold down, so if you suddenly just want to have a great big stewing pot in there, you can do. And uh, certainly what we find is, having had this uh, running for over a year, it costs no more than £30 electricity um, in a year, that is a year. And that's partly because it's a AAA rated unit, we mostly use just the top drawer. This bottom drawer gets used maybe two or three times a week. Um, and uh, we find it absolutely works really well for us. One other side advantage is you're not bending down as much. So we use the top drawer the majority of the time and it is really just a, a deep drawer. It's, it's fantastic. So you often get fridge freezers that are also working on this drawer mentality, this kind of office filing cabinet drawer mentality. It's a really neat design. You've got to be careful, um, like I say, that you're happy with the way that the space is carved up. But typically, uh, all dishwashers will have um, a, a maximum height limit. So don't think about it as a restriction. Just think about it as something that I'm just saying, keep in mind that there is an absolute upper limp lip level for your plates, for the largest of your things. And yeah, sure, I've got one or two very special odd things that I have to wash by hand still. But the versatility and the efficient efficiency of space and less waste of water, this uses this will use half the water uh, on a day-by-day -day basis than I would running a whole machine um, partly filled. Um, it's, it's fantastic, the versatility is very well and uh, all in all really pleased of the dual drawer design. And I think this is going to be seen more and more in, uh, in households in kitchens uh, going forward because when it's done as well as this it, it, uh, it genuinely enhances and adds to um, small family uh, kitchens, small family living and uh, allows you to do a daily wash uh, with a, a kind of low power consumption, low water usage as well and uh, at the same time give the full versatility of a full size, full width dishwasher when you've got those large weekend meals and uh, gatherings with friends and pots and pans you want to just throw in the bottom. and. Uh, to get done keeps any of the grease separate as well which I think is also good so um, we don't need to uh, run the rinse aids of the dishwasher cleaner um, packs through this just so often because it, it, it keeps things sparkly clean these are really squeaky clean absolutely things come out absolutely brilliantly smooth and white and, uh, and that's no small thanks to the fact that we're now to absolutely separate the the really dirty items to uh, exclusive the bottom part of the dishwasher and keep our day-to-day -day cutlery and plates to the top. Oh, just before I finish, I was going to quickly show you some glasses. These are just regular glasses, but they really do come up absolutely sparkling clean. That's always a good sign. So if you get smear-free glasses, it's not only a good sign of good detergent, it's also a sign of a good grease-free dishwasher, and that's what you've got here. Really good at keeping the grease separate from your glasses and your day-to-day -day utensils. One point on safety, child safety, etc. You might think these handles, etc., can be opened while the unit is in operation, and that's not the case because the doors are locked, a little bit like on a traditional washing machine. So, unless you properly stop the unit and then uh, release the water, etc., by pressing the button a few times, uh, the drawer won't open. So, rest assured, there's no issue here with somebody being able to open these. Um, without you wanting them to, so uh, a good little safety feature there.